Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at that, we did it. We unlocked Jaspie's 22 box memorabilia madness mixer. It's all football stuff and there's two, three, four, five chase the mantle entries in this one. This is a pretty good break. We got a bunch of full size helmets, got fourth and goal, we got mini helmets, a lot of fun stuff. We'll do that randomizer at the very end. Let's do this randomizer now. Let's, let's randomize you a team. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Appreciate all the people who bought their full spots. Thanks to the people who won their way in. Thanks for getting in on that. We got the three in Phoenix 9, Phoenix 10, 11, and 12. Those are those hybrid packs. All right, and all 32 teams are in, no combos. Good luck, everybody, and trade window is open. Let's roll it, randomize it, two and a one, three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. Got Steve down to Kieran. And then two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Got the Buccaneers down to the Giants after three. All right. Steve, you got the Buccaneers, John with the Bengals and Vikings, Oliver with the Bears, David with the Cardinals, Brian with the Rams, William with the Cowboys, John with the Eagles and Raiders, Travis with the Ravens, Tristan with the Titans, John, Chiefs, Texans, Panthers, Alex with the Steelers, Alejandro with the uh, Browns, Brian with the Dolphins, John with the Bills and Commanders, Ron with the Patriots, John with the Jets, Chad with the Chargers, Brian with the Niners, Tristan with the Colts, um... Brett with the Lions, Adam with the Saints, Eugene with the Falcons, John with the Seahawks, Josh with the Broncos, John with the Jaguars and uh, Packers, and Kieran with the Giants. So trade window's open. I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break and trade at your own risk. See you in a little bit. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. Some trade chatter out there, but ultimately no deals were done, so TWC trade window closed. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. No matter you know what way you got in, I appreciate it. All right, now, let's see what we got here. We're going to go with, here's how we're going to go. We're going to do the four items each in fourth and goal. There's the four fourth and goal boxes. Then we'll pivot to the mini helmets, and then we'll close out with the uh, with the uh, giant helmets right there, the full size helmets. So you can see everything kind of stacked up around here on my face camera right over here. So we're just gonna start from here and go. Good luck. Now there's so many items here. I think we're gonna uh, at least for fourth and goal. I won't do the who am I. We'll just reveal items, and then once we get to the single item of boxing, we, maybe we can play some lightning rounds of who am I. Here are the uh, different certificate of authenticities that that uh, Hit Parade uses. So if there's any stuff that's, that's in their uh, college here, Right, that's when we'll use our our our, uh, our college rules. Where if so, for example, if we pull a what's good a Derrick Henry, right, college football helmet, it, it'll go to the team he's currently on, which would be the Ravens. Um, if we pull a retired player's college helmet or jersey or whatever, then we'll uh, we'll give it to um, the team that he played for the long. We'll use ProFootballReference.com for that. So I think there's two items inside there. There's a mini helmet and a full-size helmet. Here's the first thing right here. And that is, uh, that's Jared Goff, right? Yeah, that's Rams edition of Jared Goff. Obviously in his Rams uniform, so that's where it's going to go. So that will be for Brian and the Rams. And who is this chief right here? Any guesses on that chief's auto?
Dante Hall, maybe? No, it looks like it's uh, Dwayne Bow. It'll usually give us the sticker right here. Nice. It's a custom jersey, so there it won't have the official. Was he the 2010 touchdown leader? Chiefs, that's going to be for John Jackson. There's a mini helmet inside the, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> All right, the mini helmet is for the Packers. Any guesses there? Who's that auto there for the Packers? And that will be John Jackson in the Packers. It is indeed Christian Watson. You can see the upside down Christian Watson right there. Got the hologram sticker and everything. Nice classic football helmet, mini football helmet. And a full-size helmet. That's a nice helmet. Whose auto is that? Trends, what's going on? I'm assuming you're saying hi, unless you were just stating my name. There's all the hologram. It says the Texans on the back right there. Texans up on the front badge too. That looks pretty cool. John Jackson has the Texans as well. Hard to see that. It's, it's a little hard to see. It's Nico Collins. Let's see if I can get that angle. Hi, Trent. What's going, Aaron? So on the inside of this box right here, it'll say Nico Collins and the little sticker on the bottom. All right, good start. Whose autograph is that? Uh, 
Colin Moore Merrill. The middle child of Natalie and Byron. Nice, good eye. Oliver, it is Antonio Freeman. There's his Packers color right there. Yeah, that's for you, John Jackson. Who's gonna? Who's saying he's gonna rebuild his memorabilia collection after this one? Now out with the old, in with the new. Got the PSA authentication, everything. Great. Uh, let's set this here for now. Like there's a mini helmet inside a full-size helmet here and the photo is pretty cool the 8x10 Michael Vick nice that's awesome you know, just some camera settings here really quick There you go, Falcons Michael Vick. And that's going to be. Actually, maybe I'll set the autofocus on this. That might be better. All right, so you can kind of see up close right there. Michael Vick. Falcons Eugene with the ATL. mini helmet is for the Giants any guesses on the auto there once the autofocus kind of sets on it it's gonna be for uh, for Kieran in the New York football Giants Jeremy Shockey. I think who might might have been one of the one of the first tight ends to uh, to kind of be more of an offensive threat. Yeah, Josh has got it. Also, this is probably a good time to double check to make sure you're watching live, so you can not be lagging behind the stream. This helmet's for my Raiders. Woo! What a good looking helmet. Any guesses on the auto? You might be able to tell by the number. Who's got my Raiders? It's going to be John Jackson with my Raiders. That's right, Michael Mayer. Another offensive tight end. That's awesome. Early reports out of Raiders camp is that uh, these guys are doing, both tight ends are doing pretty well. The Raiders are going to be running a lot of two tight end setups this year with Michael Mayer and Brock Bowers. Uh, Michael Mayer a little ahead of Bowers on, on blocking. Um... But obviously, you can set up Brock as a slot receiver and have Michael Mayer be the traditional tight end. So there's a lot of a lot of ways that can go with that offense. Hopefully, the quarterbacks can figure it out. The quarterbacks are competent. They're just average. They should have a nice season with all those weapons. 
All right, next fourth and goal box. Jersey in there. That's right, Nick. My John Mayer's brother, of course, obviously. The famous uh, John Mayer song. Your Body is a Wonderland was actually about his brother Michael Mayer and his, uh, his tight end physique that he would take, take to uh, Notre Dame, I think? And then onwards to the NFL. 8 by 10 is TJ Hawkinson? Yeah, TJ Hawkinson. Uh, that's going to go to John and the Vikings. The jersey is... Okay, that's who it is. It's a charger, obviously, which will be for Chad Lee. Anyone guess that auto? Uh, yep, Oliver and Nick's got it. Keenan Allen. Obviously, if you know your sports player's numbers, it's, it's also pretty easy. All right, and then helmet and mini helmet. We've got another giant right here. Oh wow, that lion's helmet is really cool. Uh, any guy? Oh, that's kind of easy. That's Kieran with the giants. And yeah, Nickel Plant and Oliver's got it. Phil Sims. Pretty easy. Cool mini helmets here. I dig them. And the full size helmet is a really cool one here. I don't know who this person is. Let me look inside the box. But it's a camo helmet. That's pretty sick. You got all the, the official stickering or the official uh, authentication as well. Who is that? Oh, okay. The autofocus was a little bit better on this. That's David Montgomery. That's initially what I thought. I saw the letter the letter D and kind of an S there, but I thought it was an S. It's not. It's David Montgomery. 
Go to the Lions. It's going to be for Brett. The, the camo style on that helmet is really awesome, though. I dig that. Fourth and goal. Any guesses here? Number nine, Giants or Colts or other blue team? It is. It is Kenneth Walker. You can see the, the Seahawks trim right there. Nice. Kenny Skywalker going to John Jackson, the Seattle Seahawks. Plastic coating on this, but the photo is this guy. Number is that? That's Dallas Goddard. I was like, that's a tight end number. That Dallas Goddard for the Fly Eagles fly. That's gonna be that's gonna be for John Jackson. full-size helmet oh another special helmet for the full-size helmet this is this kind of feels like the movie alien where like a mini helmet comes with like a giant mini helmet appears like a little mini helmet isn't that kind of freaky this break brought to you by alien Romulus in theaters soon. Mm -hmm. 
the janitor. This will get past all the yellow. Two more come in. Heard the announcer there just say nightmare. It seems like the right word to say. We are well on our way. Now they are 14 straight to the to the handle. Yep, Jordan Addison, our, our unfortunate DUI guy of the summer. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anybody or himself. John with that one seemed appropriately uh, apologetic about it. After the fact, hopefully it won't happen again. There's John Jackson with Jordan Addison. Um, yeah, he was in a white Rolls Royce. He was asleep behind the wheel. Um, so I, I, I guess he was blocking a lane or something like that. I mean, he was on the 105 near the airport. Where, where was he going? The helmet is a cool Bills helmet. Matte black, red logo. Who is that? Who's that autograph right there? I think I know who that is. Anyone have any guesses? Who I thought it was. Uh, not Diggs, but yes, uh, Gabriel Davis. Buffalo! It's going to be for John Jackson and the Bills. You got the JSA card right here along with the sticker on the back right there. That's a pretty cool helmet. Uh, John, I hope you're in a, uh, in a secure area. You're going to have, or an area that has a lot of space where, where the delivery driver can drop off a, a ton of these full-size helmet size boxes at your front door. helmets before we pivot back to the full size helmet. Now it's just only one thing a box. Should be should be a smooth sailing from here on out. Maybe this break is shorter than I thought. You never know with these memorabilia breaks. Now you might want to rent a truck or something like that, John. Have have that out, out front, big flatbed truck where they can just load up all these boxes. All right, same, same authentication information right there. All right, now, since we don't have multiple memorabilia to deal with, let's uh, do a quick round of who am I? Um, Retired running back, played 10 seasons in the NFL with the Bengals and Patriots. A Super Bowl champion, four-time Pro Bowler, over 11,000 rushing yards, 82 rushing touchdowns, 244 receptions, 1,900 receiving yards, 1913, and then seven receiving touchdowns. Who am I? Thank you. 
the uh, went to college at Washington. Second round pick, 1997. Josh is correct. It's Corey Dillon. Bam. There it is. Nice. Corey Dillon. <laughs> you know that we, we have we have switched up the Tesla joke trend now that everyone has one. They're not as special anymore. We have to change it to like a like a pole star or something like that. We haven't found the new car. <laughs> the new car to talk about yet. No, the the when we were when we were doing the Tesla joke, they were they were still quite quite rare. But now now the, now they're all over the place. So they're not as special anymore. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, you can see the helmet on the top camera. I'm going to turn that off for a second. All right, well, you saw the helmet in the top camera if you were spying that. Yeah, too many people drive Teslas in Santa Monica. In fact, near my apartment is a, uh, is a giant Tesla charging station. There's like 50 bays. Supercharger. Uh, this should be pretty easy. Uh, number one overall pick in 2020. Also a Pro Bowler, NFL Comeback Player of the Year award winner. In my short career, I have I already have 14,000 passing yards, 97 touchdowns, and 37 interceptions. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Joe Burrow. In his LSU helmet, right there. Obviously, he's with the Bengals. That's for John Jackson. Nice. I didn't have a chance to do my little post-it note tag here. Here you go, John. Tesla's used to set trends, now, now they're too trendy. Not even trendy, I think it's just more commoners own them now. Because there's like the, the less expensive models. All right, next helmet. All right, we got another retired running back. All right, who am I? My playing height weight, 5'9", 216. Play for two teams my entire career. Career 18, I'm a Hall of Famer, obviously, because I have over 18,000 rushing yards, 164 rushing touchdowns. I even caught the ball a bit, 515 receptions for over 3,000 receiving yards and 11 receiving touchdowns. Three-time Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, an NFL Most Valuable Player, Offensive Rookie of the Year, four-time first-team All-Pro, eight-time Pro Bowler, four-time rushing touchdown leader, three-time NFL rushing, four-time rushing yards leader, three-time NFL rushing touchdowns leader, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, first round pick, 17th overall, back in 1990. Not Terrell Davis, Oliver's got it, it's Emmett Smith. Played for the Cowboys and the Cardinals. Here's his Cowboys helmet in the, what do they call this? Eclipse, I think. 
That's pretty sweet. I can, if my camera can focus a little bit inside there, sometimes the glare of the box makes it a little difficult, but there it is. Emmett Smith. All right, and that's going to be for, for William. William's on the board. William Punt. Next football player. All right, an active wide receiver, 6'1", 195, first round pick, late for, yeah, late first round pick. So far in my career, 392 receptions, 5,899 yards, and 30 receiving touchdowns. This is only after he was drafted in 2020. So that's pretty good after, what, three full seasons in the NFL? That's right, Kevin. Justin Jefferson got the gold top helmet, purple trim on the bottom, purple ink autograph. That's really cool. That's awesome. John Jackson, JJ, has JJ. He has the Vikings. He's going to get the JJ. That's really sweet. Final hit parade mini helmet. in. I don't know I really, if I realized there was even a difference, but there were a couple, there was a one other helmet that was a first round mini helmet. So bonus for you. All right. Final first rounder here. This is a retired wide receiver. Uh, drafted in the late 80s, first round, 22nd pick overall, played for a lot of teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams. Seven NFL teams, one Canadian team. Uh, had 743 career receptions, 10,205 receiving yards, 84 receiving touchdowns. I was a Super Bowl champ and a Grey Cup champ. Five-time Pro Bowler, receiving touchdowns co-leader in the early 90s.
Poor Josh Norman. I'm sure he's got to go with that one down. Woo! Derrick Henry and Alona Moore. Two players, one massive stiff arm. More rugby. Team USA and Brazil. Look at Kelter with the stiff arm. Not Ishmael, not Rocket. Uh, my, uh, my famous recording artist girlfriend burned down my house. A good portion of it. That's right, Oliver. Andre Bad Moon Rising. Oh, even to inscribe Bad Moon right there. Nice. That's awesome. Falcons is uh, is Eugene. You got got the Bad Moon inscription right there. That's nice. Now let's go to the under wraps. Twenty twenty three edition right there. Good luck. Cards on the bottom will tell you who the who the player is. Uh, this dude's pretty good and an uh, active linebacker, 6'3", 245, first round pick out of Penn State, NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, and uh, looking for a new contract, holding out. Show me the money. Show me the money. That's right, Micah Parsons, who's pretty darn good, and he wants to be uh, wants to be compensated as such. You got all the fanatics authentication. In the back, right there, and you'll get, and you'll get the uh, card as well. Flashing back to, I mean, Oliver, where were you when Andre Risen, oh, when Andre Risen's girlfriend, Left Eye, uh, burned down his house? Where were you? I mean, this is, this is like, where were you when man landed on the moon kind of moment? Cultural, and yeah, what were you doing? Uh, were you at home? When did you find out? You know? Saw it on MTV. Maybe Kurt Loader of MTV. Uh, wide receiver, 6'4", 208, active out of North Dakota State. Second round pick, 34th overall. Um, in my short career, I have 69 receptions, over 1,000 receiving yards, 12 receiving touchdowns. Can rush it a little bit, 91 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. Who am I? Two, 
Receivers out of North Dakota State. And relatively young. Yep, Christian Watson. There's the Christian Watson card down there. There's his helmet right here. Goes to John Jackson. I think we got his jersey earlier, didn't we? So now we just need to find his cleats. Some autographed cleats. Autographed gloves. And we can we can we can create our own Franken Watson. Oh, there's a, was it a, another helmet? All right. I guess we're not creating a Franken Watson. Because rumor, legend has it that if you put an official helmet, if you put a helmet, a jersey, cleats, and gloves together, and you say the magic spell, you can build that. You can create that character, Frankenstein of that character. It'll 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 be alive. Spooky, right? Uh, my, my kids are Eli and Peyton. My grandson is Arch. That's right, it's the Patriarch, Archie Manning. Great penmanship on that classic looking helmet there. That's uh, Adam Kupperman has the Saints. There you go, Adam, on the board. There's all the authentication. Retired safety from Garden Grove, California. 5'10", 207 in my playing days. Played for one team my entire career. A Hall of Famer, obviously. Ended up with 783 tackles, 12 sacks, 32 interceptions, 14 forced fumbles, 5 defensive touchdowns, 107 pass deflections, 2-time Super Bowl champion. Oh, Oliver. I thought you You want to take that back? Come on, man. I thought you'd be the one to get this immediately. Garden Grove guy. Yeah, there we go. Troy Palomalu. I guess if I said USC, it would have really just sunk it in, but I feel like that would have been too easy. And that's for Alex. Alex Bat has the Pittsburgh Steelers. Great little mini helmet. Yeah, Oliver really wants that one. Was Ronnie Lott also from Garden Grove? Born in Garden Grove? I guess he went to high school in Oregon.
Ronnie Lawton actually might be a local guy too, maybe. All right, final one down south. What's going on? We are in the midst of a 22 box memorabilia mixer. We've got our final mini helmet here, ready to go. And then we've got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full size helmets to go. All right, who am I? They call me the cheetah. Uh, all yeah, everyone get everyone knows that one. That's Tyreek Hill. Even his autograph is fast. So Brian Fitzgerald has the uh, the fins. All right, full size helmet time. We've got 2023 edition and 2024 edition. We'll start with 2023. This is a old school wide receiver for Chad Dawes team. At the time of his retirement, I'm pretty sure he held all the all the major receiving records. Yep, Oliver, it's, and Kevin, it's Steve Largent. Nice, you got like that nice deep navy blue right there. The fierce Seahawks logo. You got that right there. What, what is that called? Chevrons maybe? They're not, that's not a hound's tooth. Might be, might be Chevrons. Right there. Got Seattle in the background here. These might actually, these are a little bit nicer quality helmets here as well. It's, uh, it's SEI certified. Meets no, no CSAE standard. For those of you who are helmet people who know your helmets. That's uh, John Jackson. And uh, John Jackson in Seattle. Transition. USA up 13-12. Now, KD. 
100% shooter from the field in any half of his NBA career, including the postseason. There are still about 11. All right, we got an active uh, active player, defensive end from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's 6'4", 266, former first-round pick, defensive player of the year, defensive rookie of the year, first-team All-Pro, four-time Pro Bowler. Since 2019, I already have 209 total tackles, 53 and a half sacks, 10 forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, and an interception, and eight pass deflections. Pretty good. Who am I? Uh, no, not 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 Garrett, not what. Uh, went to uh, Ohio State. Went to Ohio State. Drafted in 2019, second overall. My brother's in the league too. Which Bosa? Nick Bosa, correct. Correct Amundo. There's also a cool military style helmet here. Alright, the salute to service helmet. Got the stars and bars on the back. San Francisco logo and the Nick Bosa autograph right up on top. Nick might not be used to signing on helmets right there. That's going to be for Brian Fitzgerald, who's got the Niners. Congrats, Brian. Another helmet from 2023, Hit Parade, Football, Diamond Edition, Series Series 11. We got a retired quarterback uh, from Walla Walla, Washington. Went to Walla Walla High School. What a fun, what a fun name to say. Went to Chad Dawes' favorite university <laughs> and was a number one overall pick. Played for three teams in my, my entire career. Four-time Pro Bowler and a Super Bowl champion. Total of uh, forty-four thousand six hundred eleven passing yards. 251 touchdowns to 206 interceptions, career passer rating of 77.1. Yankees had guys has some NFL records. Most passing attempts in a game, 70. Wow. Most completions in a regular season game, 45, tied with Jared Goff. And most overtime touchdown passes with four. Those are NFL records. Number one overall pick in 1993 out of Washington State University. Paul's got it, Drew Bledsoe. And it's gotta be Patriots edition of Drew Bledsoe, right? It is. Got 
got the big Patriots logo. NFL shield on the back right there. That's pretty cool. I mean, these helmets are really awesome. Uh, that is for Ron Sharp in New England. Twenty-five-year-old wide receiver from St. Rose, Louisiana. Six-one, one ninety-five, out of LSU. Drafted in 2020. Still with the same team here. Offensive Player of the Year in 2022. And a national champion. The NFL I hold the NFL record for most career receiving yards per game. Ninety-eight point three. Wow. Per game? Imagine just waking up and being like, yeah, I'm going to automatically get pretty much 100 yards every game. Yeah, Oliver and, and Chad's got it. Justin Jefferson. Ooh, that's a, this is a cool helmet, too. It's in that, that matte black helmet. So does that mean what color is the auto? Silver, nice. That pops nicely on that helmet. Catch, yeah. There you go. That's a much better shot right there. You can see the the purple horns right there. This would probably look really nice in the sun. Natural lighting would probably look really sharp. And that's JJ for JJ, John Jackson, and the Minnesota Vikings. Final uh, 2023 edition.
Alright, we've got another uh, active player here. 25 year old from Merrimack, Massachusetts. 6'5, 258 pounds. Went to Penn State, a second round pick. Played for one team my entire career. Uh, have a career 155 receptions, 1,537 receiving yards, and 11 touchdowns in my, uh, in my short career. Drafted in 2021. Was a first team All Big Ten in 2020 and Big Ten tight end of the year. The, 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 the NFL position, not, not his backside. Who am I? I went to Penn State. Penn State. Tight ends, second round picks. Yep, good job, Chad. Pat Fryermuth. Muth. And that's Alex with the Steelers. They're not saying boo, they're saying Muth. Ah, classic Steelers helmet. Oh, look at this with the yellow ink autograph. Hey, you could just be like, Mooth! Nice, you got the, the, the glossy Steelers helmet, the yellow ink autograph, which pops really nicely. How much have uh, well, I actually don't know what a I don't know if I know what an official NFL helmet weighs, but these got these guys have got some good weight to it. This is Hit Parade Diamond Football Helmet 2024 Series 1. I, sh I should put it on. Could be break or worn. You know, breaking is an Olympic sport now. Maybe, maybe uh, in, in LA we'll, we'll be part of that. All right. I am an active wide receiver, also 25 years old. Um, from Houston, Texas, 5'10", 185. Went to Alabama, first round pick. Played for one team my entire career. Um, already have 251 receptions and 3,385 receiving yards, 18 receiving touchdowns. I ran a 43740. <laughs> Yep, Kevin and Chad got it. Jalen Waddle. 
Miami, of course, has one of the fastest receiving cores, right? Receiving duos in all of football. This is in a salute to service helmet. Nice. And we've got a nice, uh, that pops really nicely, a nice uh, dolphin's orange ink right there. Or coral, as they might call it, I think. And that is for Brian Fitzgerald and the Miami Dolphins. Another 25-year-old wide receiver. This one's from Phoenix, Calif Phoenix, California. Phoenix, Arizona. 6'4", 208. Went to North Dakota State. Was a second-round pick. And have uh, I've got a nice number of receptions here, 69. 1,033 receiving yards, 12 receiving touchdowns, 91 receiving yards, 2 rushing touchdowns. Yeah, it's another Watson. Now the curiosity is what type of helmet is this? Is this your standard one? Is this a special one? It's another salute to service one. Which I think look pretty, uh, pretty sharp. And white out ink. And that's another one for John Jackson. Final one is going to be a retired player. Mm -hmm. 
how do you spell this guy's name? Oh, that's how you spell it. All right. Uh, I am a retired linebacker. Still, still only 33 years old, playing height weight, 6'3", 238. Went to, uh, born in Cincinnati, Ohio, went to Boston College, was a first round pick. Played for one team my entire career. Was an NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year, a seven time Pro Bowler, two time NFL Combined Tackles Leader, part of the 2010's All Decade Team. Am I a Hall of Famer? Uh, 1,092 total tackles, 12 and a half sacks, 18 interceptions, 66 pass deflections, seven forced fumbles, nine fumble recoveries, two defensive touchdowns, a college football Hall of Famer. That's right, Chad. Chad's got it. Luke Keekley. Oh, this is cool. We got a nice... Uh, Coke white helmet here and that bright neon blue autograph right in the mouth of the panther. Rawr. That's awesome. That's sharp. Rawr. That's awesome. Carolina Panthers, that's going to be John Jackson. There you go, John. Keep a, keep a, when, when we send you the shipping notifications, keep these tracking numbers handy. All right. Thanks, everybody. Pretty nice break here. Now, this mixer has five Chase the Mantle entries in here. Let's gather everybody's names on the list, one through 32, and everyone in between. New dice, new list. Great odds here, top five after nine. Four and a five, nine times. Fingers crossed, lucky rabbit's foot, pray to the hobby gods, get the four leaf clover, the lucky horseshoe, everything. Four out of five, nine times, top five after nine. Good luck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and once more, ninth and final time. Six through 32, sad times, but I appreciate you getting in. There is one giant baseball mix that's gonna be loading up soon where we're giving away 15 entries. And that'll be, that'll be it, that's the last one. So keep an eye out for that, um, jazzpiececasebreaks.com. Top five, you're happy, because you're chasing the mantle, you've got an entry. Eugene, you're chasing the mantle. John, you're chasing the mantle. David Lemons, chasing the mantle. Brian Fitzgerald, chasing the mantle. John Jackson, chasing the mantle. There you go, top five, after nine. Thanks, everybody. We're almost there on that mantle promo. Check out all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If, if you're watching live, we're always pinning that, uh, that break schedule in the chat. If you click that break schedule, take it to a Google spreadsheet, There'll be a Chase the Mantle tab where you can keep track of all the, uh, all the entries. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.